Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a really cool animation effect. Business cards or data panels smoothly rotating around a central character. This will give our design a professional 3D look using the CC cylinder effect in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now I'll place our main character on the stage. This is just a PNG with a transparent background. All the source files, including this character and the project file, are available on my Patreon, so you can follow along step by step. I've already created some smaller compositions with cards. Each card has a little animation, like moving charts or rotating gears, but yours could be static PNG files or simple shape layers. Drag all of your card compositions onto the main timeline. Adjust the scale of the cards. Select them all, right click, and choose Pre Compose. Let's call this new composition Objects. Here's an important detail. For the cylinder to wrap properly, the composition needs to be wider. Go to Composition Settings and double the width. Now we can spread out our cards across the entire width of the computer. Duplicate them with Command-D for Mac or Control-D for Windows, and arrange them evenly across the space. Back in the main composition, Adjust the scale of the layer with cards. Apply Effect Perspective CC Cylinder to the Objects layer. Now we start seeing our cylinder. Let's tweak a few parameters. Under Rotation X and Rotation Z, tilt the cylinder slightly to give perspective. In Shading, set Ambient to 100 and Diffuse to 0. This removes unnecessary shading and keeps our cards evenly lit. Adjust the radius until the cylinder has the right size around the character. To create movement, animate Rotation Y. At frame 0, set a keyframe at 0. At 5 seconds, set the value to 1. That means in 5 seconds the cylinder completes one full rotation. Right now, the cards rotate in front of the character, but we want them to orbit around. Here's the trick. Duplicate the objects layer and place it below the character layer. On the top layer, set Render, Outside. On the bottom layer, set Render, Inside. For the bottom layer, let's adjust the shading settings. We'll slightly reduce the ambient value and increase the diffuse. This way, the backside of the cylinder gets a bit more contrast and looks more realistic compared to the front. To enhance depth, add Effect, Blur, Camera Lens. Blur to the bottom objects layer. Increase the blur radius slightly. This makes the backside look softer, as if it's further away.
Now the cards pass both in front of and behind the character, creating the illusion that they truly orbit around. Let's make this even more realistic by adding a shadow. Duplicate the top object's layer again and rename it Shadow. In Render, set it to Full. Reset Rotation Z and set Rotation X to 90. Reduce the radius to flatten it. Add Effect, Generate, Fill, and choose an appropriate color. Lower the opacity to soften it. Enable 3D layer for the shadow. Rotate it on the x-axis to negative 90 degrees and move it downward so it sits logically under the cylinder. When adjusting the shadow layer, make sure to tweak the radius parameter in the CC cylinder settings. This way, the shadow visually matches the size of the rotating objects, making the whole effect look more consistent. Finally, add gradient ramp for a smooth falloff. Let's refine the gradient ramp effect. Set the start of ramp point and pick a suitable color. Then, do the same for the end of ramp point, choosing a slightly different shade. This will make the shadow less uniform and give it a much more natural look. And apply matte choker to refine and soften the edges. Finally, let's adjust the matte choker effect. Here we'll fine tune the geometric softness and choke parameters. These controls help soften the edges of the shadow while also tightening them just enough to make the result clean and realistic. And that's it. We now have a character standing while dynamic business cards rotate around them, complete with shading, depth, and a subtle shadow. Don't forget, all source PNGs and the project file are available on my Patreon, so you can practice and build this effect on your own. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.